Hello and welcome back to the Land Rover Toolbox videos. Today is a few quick tips. One of these, if you look, I haven't got a registration plate because it fell off. What I'm going to do is put it on properly with the right colored tag so the screws are not shown anywhere or disrupting the letters like we have on this number plate, which is not done very well. Okay, we're going to do a better job than this. And this involves using these plastic caps. Now, if I use a white plastic cap on the white backing, it look, should look good, or a black one on the black lettering. And I'm using self-tapper screws as well. Okay, so these caps, they uh, cover the screw head and make the job look really nice. Now, if I just slip that in there, you'll actually see how it goes. You snap the head shut like that. All right, makes a nice job, stops the uh, screws looking rusty like this old LDV. Right, so we're going to do the white one. Selecting a drill for a self-tapper can be a bit tricky, but I usually say that it's two-thirds the size of the self-tapper will be sufficient for the screw to make a thread and not get jammed. So I'm going to drill myself a hole in this bumper, then wind in the screw like so. Easy job. Just to stop yourself getting in a mess and screwing up the screw head and not being able to get the screw screwed into the hole like I'm having problems here, there's a little trick. If you have yourself a spare self-tapper, you can wind in and cut the thread first, like so, on both holes. This makes it very easy to screw in afterwards. You can see here, I've uh, screwed the head up a little bit, but that doesn't matter. All right, so the next thing I can do is then put the self-tapper in and it will wind in absolutely beautifully, not damaging the head. Like so, so that's a tidy job. This is a job just to get ourselves legal so we don't have any complaints that the number plate is actually in the uh, window screen. So there you go, that's the first job. Okay, second little trick we have today, and you've been there, haven't you, when you're winding a screw and it slips, your screwdriver bit slips in the old screw head and you can't move it. This is a bit of a pain in the backside and it slows the job up. Well, one of the ways you can do it is to pilot a hole first through the center so it's just below the head of the screw, all right? And then use a larger drill to take the head off. As long as you use a drill that's slightly smaller than the bolt head, that will come through and you can see that there where I've drilled it to which it's come out quite nice and it hasn't damaged the bodywork you can see that I'd always advise to have yourself a good selection of screws and nuts and bolts for your Land Rover and this stainless steel one here I actually scavenged from an old washing machine so there you go